Hey, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy and Michael are patient for four and some years now. And Michael, your picture is up between us right now. And we got a hold of you when you were 23 mm -hmm. and living in your parents' basement and not having a job. And I think you just graduated from college. And uh, I, I beat it into you and your parents about getting a mature hairline. And, and we did a first case on you. And then you showed up uh, at some point for a checkup with a girlfriend, and I remember you sitting in the, she was sat in the car, she thought she were here to see a dermatologist. Yeah. Because you didn't tell her you had a hair transplant. And then you came back for your pre-op with your second case, I guess, and she was a fiance, and she just thinks she just got one. And then you sent wedding pictures in, which I posted at some point. And now you're married, and you bought a house, and you're traveling all over the world. And uh, the, the guy we're working on today uh, was a dude a little older than me, and, and we told him this whole story, and he, and he said, well, that young man, meaning you, uh, has a lot of self-confidence. And I think it really has changed your, your outlook on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, appearance is everything, kind of. You, every, the first thing people see is your face. So, you yeah. know, if you feel confident about your hairstyle and about how you look, you'll, you'll basically you'll go miles. Well, I think you went, you went from looking remarkable in that you were a young fellow with not much hair to looking unremarkable. You don't look like you got a great hairstyle, you just look unremarkable, and that's the hallmark of a good... Yeah, that's what I was really yeah. kind of going for, because, I mean, before it was just tearing me up to see it in the mirror every yeah. single day kind of thing, so now I can just style my hair and just hang out and be yeah. okay, have bed head, whatever. And were you pretty upfront with you every time you came? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the first time you were, you were kind of, uh, you're just like, oh, I don't think you should do this, if you, unless you so want this... So what's the word that you want to use? He was a little bit... Wasn't he? Wasn't it disappointing when he said that? It wasn't disappointing. He was just really frank. I'd say. Right. Well, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Because I think that too often we see kids your age get talked into some kind of nonsense, and then they wind up with a bunch of plugs down here on their forehead and no hair to work with behind. So it's yeah. important to plan for the future. Oh yeah. I mean, you were you you had all the credentials that I wanted when I did my research, and I was looking at all the tell the customers all the horror stories. Okay. Okay. okay, just all the horror stories from all the other transplant places and, and, and people's stories on online forums and, and just different stuff. I mean, they've got the, the hair tattoos and the, uh, yeah. you know, the FUV and stuff like that. And you basically told me what would maximize my results, right. basically, and look unremarkable, as you said. Because we've gotten to know you, and, and uh, Wendy and I both like you, and I think you're a nice guy and everything, but... That aside, all I really want is a picture of the way you looked before and a picture of you now, you know? Yeah. And, and if we like you on top of it, it's a bonus, but we're trying to provide you with a service that works. Oh yeah, and I mean, you, you, you didn't sugarcoat it really, so yeah. you basically told it how it was and that's what I appreciated. And you didn't want me to damage what you were trying to put in my hair as much as, you know, the next guy kind of yeah. thing. So, I mean, aftercare was, was a big part of it. Big deal, yeah. And pre care was was also a thing, so I feel like both of those combined, plus your frank attitude, basically gives a standard result. Well, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate you coming yeah. today. Yeah. All right. See I you. like him.